Last time in the Amazing Race London, teams remained in Oxford, where JJ struggled with the technology on a Wordle challenge. I don't know how to do this. And in train, what is train? By a train. Okay. So this is what happens when you give Josh a technology challenge. Erin struggled with the challenge too, despite some early help from Laura. Um, have you done the first one? No. Best. Oh. Just put it in best. I've got to do seven. I'm only on Just put some words three. in. I can't believe it. Oh. An exit looked certain for one of those two teams, until John and Erin and JJ and Michael made the train just in time. In Bista, two teams, too exhausted to run, waited for taxis, sending them to the back of the pack. We're having a laugh. We could just run there in about five minutes. Hey, John, I could not run anymore, I told you that. Where Laura's earlier kindness came back to haunt her. And the team that had the 16 minute penalty was Laura and Richard. So, John and Erin, you are officially team number four, are still in, and Laura and Richard are out. Well done, mate. But tonight, one of the three eliminated teams will return. Who will come back to the Amazing Race London tonight? Teams were told about the twist. They will start in last place. That's why she had a massage. But those three <laughs> 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 teams, they all have one chance to get back in. So only one team can get back in? One of the three teams will come back in. Right. Okay. Wow. So that's going to be a holy ass. <laughs> Who do you think is going to get back in? Oh What's the God. challenge? You'll yeah. find out tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be in this house, isn't it? It's half ten in this house. Been, yeah, half ten in breakfast. here somewhere. Or maybe the garden. The right side to do it in the garden. It might be eating all of the leftover pizza. And the leftover beer. Oh, cheese. For breakfast at 10.30. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my no, but yesterday, but the I was I was just looking door. around the bedrooms mm -hmm. and I tried to open Thought one of the doors and they said, uh, hello, and I was like, oh, sorry. That was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, is this the cupboard or is this the bedroom or what is this? I didn't realise anyone was in there. But I did hear a voice which I interpreted as Richard's voice. Well, they've gone missing and no one knows where they are. <laughs> Maybe they've gone for a morning run. I think they might have gone shopping. Oh, oh good stuff. Well, I wish but, I thought it Oh. We found Nick. Oh. Where are they? Oh, great. <laughs> and now they've been located, the three teams open their clues. And you will be head to head in this challenge, and the first team to complete the challenge will um, be back in. You, you don't have to race to read it because we'll just all start the challenge together at the same time. Okay. Okay. For the three eliminated teams, this is your one chance to get back in the race. Your team will have two golf balls and one ping pong ball. Alternating as team members, you need to throw the balls into the cups placed at the other end of the room. The first team to have all three balls in their cups will win their way back into the race. Good luck. And with that, the challenge was on. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Uh, Got one person for each team. Yeah. <laughs> the golf course. That's never going to go in. I think we need more stones. Uh, ping pong in. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that's 
they have to get one of each ball that are all three? They have to get all three of each. Oh! Oh! So both Laura and Richard and Yemi and Lady B had one ball in. Laura took the lead again. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, Back in the race. <laughs> You're facing next to John and Aaron again. Um, right the back. Um, cool. Excellent. Sorry, guys. Um, we had a chance. So. Yeah. Um, I was worried we were not, never ever going to do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> we were prepared for that. <sighs> Yummy. Are you sad not to be back in? Not really. I mean, my head, as I was saying, for was a bit, is a bit from second week this morning. <laughs> and I was very glad that it wasn't a thinking oh, task. Yeah, um, you could so, just have a go. Yeah, yeah. Um, even though it's not something that I'm well coordinated to do. <laughs> Are you sad to not be back in? No. You're actually <laughs> dressed not for the race I've got today. I've my comfy bar on. I'm really going to want to put my sports bar back again. <laughs> so I'm, I'm all right. Are you, I think you guys were the ones that wanted to come back in the most, I feel. I'm sad yeah, that you're not back. Like, we were, we're but... enjoy it as well. Like it's also nice to just, you know, chat and wander around. It's such a fun day. Good. And we don't have to do the running. So we'll still do the tasks. I task, can just leisurely drink my coffee. Just... And... You like doing the tasks, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Just not the running so much. And with that, Laura and Richard return to the game. Do you feel a little bit like a hero? Always. More than normal. Did you expect to get back in? I'm just really pleased that I did not agree and Richard got done. <laughs> I'm the winner of the day. Yeah. Being drunk is the way forward. <laughs> Craig and Dan were the first team to start leg five. Team number one, off you go. Yeah. yeah. Teams needed to make their way back to Oxford, to the Hythe Bridge, finding this sign to receive their next clue. There you go. Thank you. Feels for the car. Yeah, good idea. Good idea to wait for the car. How long? Uh, officially 10 minutes. You're definitely not because Even of what you did to us yesterday. We were 10 minutes ahead and you just decided for no yeah, good I mean, reason you just changed that the you were just going to cut that down and give other people a little advantage. You can go now. So much better when the girls try to convince you. <laughs> <laughs> So Lord, can you explain the decision to go shopping halfway through the race? Well, we were out. Well, you knew you might come back. We lost the race, we tried to win the shopping. Well, but, and, but look at my clothes, they're just so much better for winning. Why didn't you wear them yesterday? Because well, I bought these yesterday. Oh, yeah. Shopping. Shabaganza. Teams began to arrive at Bista Station. Oh, there they are. Don't Hello. Hello. What do I want to Oxford? Off eight days to walk? Single. Oh, it doesn't matter. So you're saying 30 here? No, we're, we're not coming back here. What am I fucking hell? Because you're so aggressive. What's the difference? No. What? Take a taxi. Why did you leave us here? We literally walked. Really? That doesn't make any sense. We're about to make an alliance with. We're clearly the weakest going into the final, so we should watch this. Just listen. Anyone who will take us. Oh, the weakest team. Oh, you're the weakest team. Yeah, yeah. 
But Joe and Alex had gone missing from the group. Who's missing? Joe and Alex, Richard and Laura. Well, that's mostly what Richard and Laura have done. <laughs> the teams had actually been waiting at the wrong platform. Hoping we could wait till Do a little 11 sprint. 48 and run over. Craig and Dan were doing it on purpose. To try and race over with one minute left at the end and see if they could do it. See if they could lose anyone. Did you hear that little dirty tactic? What? Craig and Dan intentionally on the wrong side of the um, tra track, so they were going to run over with like one minute left and try and lose people. I'm just saying this Craig and Dan should be thinking about who they want in the final leg with them. So if they get there with the wrong teams, it's irrelevant, right? Getting second place in the final leg. Which is basically what happened to them last year. Which is why me and Michael are such a great team for any team to take with them. Because we have followed people this entire time. If you follow someone in the finals, you get the best you can get a second. I mean, John and Dick really done that. Apart from that time where you won the leg. Yeah. And the time where you basically won the leg. And to be honest, we did quite well in the last challenge because where we had to get the seven pictures of animals. I spotted a, a, an ornament shop and I said to John, oh, nice. going, and we got all pictures in that one shop. Joe and Alex did eventually arrive and all five teams boarded the same train back to Oxford. How quiet. How are you? Yeah, we're good. Are you doing any research or are you just... Uh... A bit of research. Okay. We're screen viewing the sign. Know what's going on in the local area? Okay. Um, I'm predicting a green space type thing, like a throwing or a frisbee or a. That, that the best thing. way through is no. The best way out is always yeah, through. through. Have you guys come down here because you think it will be the best place to get off the train as well? Well, we know it will because we took in our surroundings when we were at the station yesterday. <laughs> Richard, how much do you want to win uh, for a second year in a row? I, I'm really disappointed we're back in it. <laughs> Don't tell the girls that because they'll be sad. I don't they even want it to come back in. No, it's just very cross with me, I think. <laughs> I don't think cross with you because I got us back in it. Yeah, but I'm a better target. Easy, easy to hate. Easy to hate, yeah. How are you? Oh, hi. Having a leisurely start to the. Um, leg. It was nice to walk. Mm -hmm. I feel a bit bitter that the running yesterday the lead yeah, out for numbers. I think it has paid off um, because it made you fitter people. Well, I think it's made us uh, more achy today and feeling the need to be sick. Mm, well, that's maybe the wine. But yeah. How much did you drink? This many. This <laughs> many. <laughs> All of these. <laughs> John and Erin were delayed when they forgot that they needed their tickets to get out. Hi Steve. Hi. Having arrived at the bridge, Craig and Dan would be the first team to start this detour. In this choice between two tasks, teams needed to choose between perform and build. In perform, 
teams needed to learn and perform a classic script from the BBC soap opera EastEnders. No, you can't tell me what to do, you ain't my mother! Yes I am! And in build, teams needed to build a house of cards that was two layers high. Teams needed to complete one of these tasks to receive their next clue. How long is the clip? This is the script. This is the script. Uh, Which one are you going to do? Cards or script? I don't know if there's a level playing field to play the cartel or anything. Yes. Yeah. You want to do this? Let's learn to perform a short classic script from the Devlin Show at EastEnders. We must build a house of cards made out of three layers. That's hard. We've done that before. It's got everything. It's got everything. Because of the wind and stuff. It's got everything to do with me! <laughs> yes, I am. It's got everything to do with me. That's nice to go already. You're not going to spend less that. Yes, I am. That's nice to go already. Go on. Go. All right, we'll try it. Cool. Okay. <laughs> do we have to do it in like a... Okay. You can do it in any accent. Any. What's it got to do with you anyway? It's got everything to do with me. I already forget. Okay, wait. It's <laughs> Nick said you can do two high if you want. Well, it's not, is it? Of how many cards? Oh, it's just two layers, using it with any amount of those cards. There's nothing you can do about it. Why don't you just leave me alone? You're not going to Spain and that's that. You can't tell me what to do! You ain't my mother! Yes, I am! <laughs> do you want to go? Uh, no, one more time. Oh, no, it's not really a bit, but... do, you, do, you, do you want to try the other thing? Do you want to try the other thing, Pat? Hold on. No, let me try this one time because the travel. You just let me know if you want to do the other thing. Oi! No! I'm helping. Yeah. Yeah. What's it got to do with you anyway? It's got everything to do with me. You're not going to stay Fuck! Oh my god. You okay, wait. From the beginning. Okay, go. Okay. okay, what's it got to do with you anyway? It's got everything to do with me. No, I'm fed up with you uh, picking on me, embarrassing me in front of everybody. Will you just listen to you me? You missed something. All the time. Okay. Embarrassing me in front of everyone. The greens and the wood. Alright. Happy? Oh! <laughs> Will you just listen? Having completed the detour, Laura and Richard needed to find a production member somewhere in Gloucester Green Market. I'm hiding. This is the fifth and final pit stop of the race before the finale. The last team to check in will be eliminated. Okay, ready? Okay. You want to have a go? Okay. Okay. What's he got to do with you anyway? It's got everything to do with me! No! I'm fed up for you picking on me! Why don't you just embarrass me for everybody? You've missed something. Yeah. Someone! Yeah, done. What's he got to do with you anyway? It's got everything to do with me. No, I'm fed up for you picking on me all the time. Embarrassing me in front of everyone. What are you? Will you just listen to me? No! I need you to leave me alone! You missed something! Ready? Sorry. I'm going to Okay. What's it got to do with you anyway? It's got everything to do with me. No! I'm fed up with you picking me up all the time. I'm embarrassing me in front of my friend. Will you just listen to me? No! Oh. Go away, baby. Go away. I'm fed up with you. Sorry. What's got to do with you anyway? It's got everything to do with me. No, I'm fed up for you just picking on me all the time. Embarrassing me in front of my friends. Will you just listen to me? No, I'm going, and there's nothing you can do about it. Why don't you leave me alone? You're not going to Spain and that's that. You can't tell me what to do! You ain't my mother! Yes I am! Good. Uh, he said in front of my friends, it's in front of everyone. That's not he right. did say that. Stop. You said embarrassing me in front of my friends. You get off the task. No, you said he's, right. he's right, he's right, he's right. <laughs> Oh, 
Aaron, you are the first team to finish this leg. Well done. Thanks. Laura and Richard, you are the second team to finish this leg. What's it got to do with you anyway? It's got everything to do with me. No, I'm fed up you picking on me all the time. Embarrass me in front of everyone. You're not going in that sack. No! Wait, did you go from the top? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. What's You're not going to Spain and that's that. You can't tell me what to do! You ain't my mother! Yes, I am! Good. <laughs> as long as he's not resting against the wall. Got it, he's got it, got it, there you go. I need to wait for your team member to get here to clock you in. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Joe and Alex. You are the third team to reach the pit stop. It's 12.18. Sorry. I'm oh, not to you, I was talking to him. Good. You're good. Thank you. Hey, so where's the standard going? Uh, uh, pit stop. And a bath. Uh, production member somewhere in the bus. That's the Americans and Craig and Dan, right? That's still left? Yeah. Went most of the shops, so I don't know, there must be only one. Must be like a little pit off halfway somewhere. That's Craig and Dan, that's the Americans. Oh, they're out. Hi. Hi, Matt, Uh, Craig and Dan, you are the fourth team to reach the pit stop. Oh, JJ and Michael. Last one to arrive. You're the fifth team to arrive at the pit stop. Thank you so much. You did a great race. Oh, I feel so no. bad. Watching them do that challenge was killing me. Yeah. Uh, I should have listened to my gut, which told me to do the cards because I've won that challenge in a, in a game before. Yeah. And it's just it's something I, it's a task you know, I you know I can't so do. You were so close with the square. Yeah. You should have switched so lines. So many times. I might never I might on the memory, first go. Yeah. Like the second I read them, I'm like, okay, I'll forget. Yeah, and you always had less lines. And I, had I, less I lines. chose it because it seemed the more fun thing. And like, you see that on the show and all that. And it was really fun. Yeah, and I'm glad fun. we got footage of it because yeah. it was really fun. But <laughs> uh, yeah, game wise, I, I should have just won with the cards. I do want video check of Richard's tower. All right, we'll do. That's what I'm saying. Because I also think too. Sure oh, yeah, I mean, it, it is really. He is known to cheat. <laughs> pretty much <laughs> every I, round. I, I, I tried to do what he did, and then Nick said we can't do it. I'm so I'm pretty like, sure they were not. Leaving. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, he's done two seasons, and he's cheated both times before, uh, so <laughs> far. So. With just four teams remaining, who will win season five? Former runners-up John and Erin had had a difficult start. <laughs> Rebounded to have the best overall stats of the season. You are the first team to finish this leg. Well done. Could they make it through one more leg as the victors without killing each other? Richard and Laura had teamed up with John and Erin throughout the season. So are we teaming up? Yeah, I think right, that's a good plan. But they were eliminated when they gave too much help to their friends. Best it is B-E-S-T. Correct. Right, come oh, down. Okay. And the team that had the 16 minute penalty was Laura and Richard. But Laura had won them back into the game despite their frequent claims that they wanted to be out. No thanks. I, I'm really disappointed they were back in it. But could they bring it for one final leg? 
Joe came into the race with just one goal. I think for me it's um, trying to beat Nick, how he did in my race and it came forward. Yeah. But Alex was out for a win. Do you think you can win? I hope so. But otherwise, otherwise it's my fourth time without winning. So. <laughs> but when Joe went up the church tower and queued for 20 minutes, they almost went out of the race. Alex and Joe. But as the only remaining team not to have won a leg, could they win the final one? Or could it be Dan and Craig, beaten by Richard in last year's final? In first place at the final challenge, yeah. um, and you've come here in third place, what happened? And had mixed results in this race. Take the penalty at the beginning, so the queue's not really moving. Congrats guys on your first first place finish. Could Dan finally get a race win after five years of playing? Find out in next week's finale.